Hey guys, welcome back to the Care Tutoring YouTube channel. My name is TL, and today I'm going to be going over some College Panda SAT math questions. I've left a link in the description so you guys can go check these questions out and come back to this video later when you want to review your answers. I've also left a link in the description for Care Tutoring, so if you're interested in receiving free tutoring, make sure to click the link in the description and sign up using our form. So let's begin. So the first problem gives us an expression, and uh, one of the more common problems that I see students make is just add the exponents. However, this would be incorrect because uh, we only add the exponents when we're multiplying the terms. So if this was instead multiplication, if all of these were multiplication, then we could add the term, the exponents. But now, Now what we're going to do is we're just going to combine all these. So one way you can rewrite this um, is you're going to have 4 times 2 to the x because you're just adding those, the 4 of those together is equal to 2 to the 16th power. And then you can also rewrite this 4 as 2 to the 2nd power times 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the 16th power. Now it, you want to isolate this 2 to the x because you, well, that's where you're trying to find the x. So what you want to do is divide by 2 to the 2nd power on both sides, and when you divide um, exponents, uh, when you divide numbers with the different exponents on the same base, you just subtract them. So it's going to be 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the 14th, and x is just going to be the exponent, the number of the exponent, so that's just going to be 14th. Um, number 2 requires some knowledge of geometry. Uh, it requires the triangle, inequality, theorem which states that the sum of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the third side. So if we have this and this, 4 plus 9, if we're already given those, what is the greatest possible integer length of the third side? So like I just said, uh, the, the third side cannot be equal or greater than this number, 13. So the greatest possible integer would be 12. Um, and I'll leave uh, links in the description for triangle inequality theorem so you guys can go over that. But that's not uh, tested that much on the SAT. A car traveled 10 miles at an average speed of 30 miles per hour and then traveled the next 10 miles at an average speed of 50 miles per hour. What was the average speed? 4 to 20 miles. So speed is defined as distance over time. So in order to find the average speed for 20 miles, we already know the distance. So that's just going to be 20 miles. And now we got to calculate the time. So if we're traveling at 30 miles per hour, how long, how, what fraction of an hour is it going to take for us to travel 10 miles? It's just going to take us one third of an hour. And if we go to the next one, if we travel at 50 miles per hour, how much of an hour is it going to take for us to travel 10 miles? It's just going to take us one fifth of the hour. So let's add them to let's add those two together, um, and then we get common denominators. So that's going to be five to the fifteen, five over fifteen, um, plus three to the fifteenth, uh, over fifteen. Sorry, and then that's just going to be eight to eight over fifteen. So if we have this fraction on the bottom, which kind of looks ugly, but we can just plug this into our calculator. So it's going to be twenty over one times fifteen over eight if you were doing it by hand. So uh, 20 divided by 8 over 15 and that gives us 75 over 2. So 75 over 2 miles per hour is going to be our answer. Uh, you can also write this as the decimal form 37.5 miles per hour. So lastly, the fourth question deals with mean. Um, we have two sets of data, so 15 teachers in 40 years and 21 teachers in 44 years. And what we're looking for is the average age of the six additional teachers. So it went from 15 to 16, uh, 15 to 21, and what we're looking for is the average age of the six additional teachers. So 15 and the average is 40, so let's multiply that. Um, 15 teachers and 40 years, 21 teachers and 44 years. So that's just going to be 600, and that's going to be 924. So if we subtract those two and we find a difference, then we could um, find how much 
how much these six teachers, their age, their age combined, uh, contributed to the difference. So that's going to be 324. So these six teachers collectively have a sum of 324. So in order to find a, uh, the average of those six teachers, we just divide by how many teachers there are. So that's going to be 324 over six, which is equal to 54. So that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Also, once a, another reminder, um, please check out the description in order to sign up for care tutoring uh, if you're interested in our tutoring services. That's all I have for today, so see you guys next time.